Snapchat filter is so incredible. Except for the fact that there's a possibility that I could be plucked. I don't want to be plucked. I don't want to be picked. Of course, I really don't like those bugs. But still, I just rather just stay here and mind my own business. I'm not hurting anyone. Oh, look at all the pretty tomatoes. Who's that? What? Why is there someone in my garden? Oh, darling, that tomato looks like a nice, juicy one. Will you pick it for me? Sure, dear. This tomato tastes disgusting. Hold on, I'll throw it out for you. Let's go to another garden. <laughs>
Walter was out for a brief hot minute. I think that's what the kids are saying nowadays, hot minute. I'm so cool, right? And all you do is you make yourself an ivy crown. I'm gonna insert a photo of what this filter originally looked like. I was just going by memory, you know, I wasn't putting that much effort into it. And then I just put on a nude lip and I mostly did this costume because it was easy and it was like three o'clock in the morning. Some of those leaves from my head and I figured hey wouldn't it be cool to make myself into a tropical paradise like the tropical paradise snapchat filter y'all know the one this one is just so beautiful it makes you look so beautiful even when you're not and I took some of these weeds that I found in my closet and I just propped them on top of my head I added some red lipstick and a beautiful Hawaiian flower so now I'm ready for the hulu I mean the hula dance so I just recently had a birthday and it reminded me of the fact that I was such a cute baby. Yes, I just turned 17 years old, so hooray for me. So that's why I wanted to show you how to recreate the costume of the baby Snapchat filter. So I went to the Dollar Tree and I got a whole bunch of this cheap baby stuff, which I have to say the quality is amazing. I love the Dollar Tree. And I also put some of this super pink blush all over my cheeks, on my nose, because babies, they get colds a lot, and they're always cold, and they're like really PO'd all the time, like they're really mad, so their face gets red. And that's what I'm trying to recreate. So I'm sucking on my noonie, and I'm ready for a Halloween party. Let's get lit, y'all. This is legit my hashtag everyday makeup as Glitter Forever 17. So all you need is a whole bunch of these cheap sequins. Again, you can find these at the Dollar Tree or like any craft store, whatever, or Walmart. I love Walmart. And then I just use some lash glue to stick all of these on to create the jeweled Snapchat filter. Next, I'm gonna be using this lip gloss in Skanky Panky. And I'm just gonna apply this to my lips. Now you can look like a Mardi Gras flasher for Halloween. Yay! So this purple Snapchat filter has always been one of my favorites, except it kind of makes my face look like I have way too much nickel in my blood. But you know what? As long as you can't see my acne scars, that's all I care about. So to make this costume, there's really no making to it. You just wanna put on some purpley pink blush all over your face, some icy pink lipstick, and then take some cheek flowers, also from the Dollar Tree, hashtag not sponsored, and just stick them all up in your hair on each side to recreate that gorgeous angelic-like look. Now, I don't recommend using real flowers because, you know, bees and all. So now you can look like an angel when you know you really ain't. You know you ain't. So if you're one of those people who don't want to look like a street walker for Halloween, I would totally recommend looking like a total loser. So to recreate this crazy cat lady filter, I just applied a green shadow stick all over my face. And then because it was way too green, I wasn't going as a lime, I went ahead and added some skin toned foundation all over that and it really evened it out to look just like a face mask. Because, you know, being a loser takes a lot of work. You gotta work to look like one. So, if you really want to look like an old hag, you definitely need a wig for this. So, you need to put in some hair curlers so you can kind of look like steel magnolias, like before they do their hair. And then I just curled my hair with these really expensive hair curlers I got at the Dollar Tree. I mean, what a bargain. The Dollar Tree has the best deals ever. So next, because the Snapchat filter has paint glasses on the old hag, I'm just putting on my old lady glasses because I'm an old lady. And you know what? I love cats because cats make me feel like I'm wanted when I'm really not wanted because I smell. Becoming a salad ingredient has always been my biggest life goal. So whenever they came out with the tomato Snapchat filter, I had to do a costume for it. Now I used some green strips of felt and I just, you know, piled them on top of my head. I know it kind of looks like a whole bunch of snakes. I kind of look like Medusa and I kind of look like I have green dreads, but you know what? We're just gonna pretend that it's leaves. 
Next, I took some extremely staining lipstick and I blended it all over my face to complete the look. Oh yeah, and I also added some squiggles to my head. So because I'm lazy and I figured I already had this red junk all over my face, I went ahead and fixed my hair a little bit different and I decided to turn myself into the strawberry Snapchat filter. This was really easy. All I did was I took some white lip gloss and I just drew lines all the way down my face in the same direction, including my lips. And then I added a cute little flower on top. So now I just need some chocolate so I can dip myself in it. So that's all for this video. Let me know in the comments which costume was your favorite. And don't forget to subscribe to become an official glitter critter. So I thank you so much for watching and have a glitterful day. A snap!